I forgot this is cash only. Back in 1943, when I came out of the army, I was looking for an apartment. My wife and I had determined how much we were going to pay for it. But when we found the apartment, the rent was more than we had planned to pay. Realizing this, my wife said, well, that's not demonstrating this principle, is it? I said nothing. I simply paid the months of September and October. But when I went to pay the November rent, the manager said, I have an apology to make to you. An authority of the city came in and looked over my books. He discovered that the apartment you have was formerly rented for less. Then he quoted the new rent figure to me, which was to the dollar the amount I had originally chosen to pay. It took me three months of being faithful to what I had imagined I was paying, even though during that time I was paying more. But since the reduced rent was retroactive to the day I moved in, I got it all back at the beginning of the third month. From Neville Goddard's 1969 lecture, A Parabolic Revelation. What do you think the reaction would be of most people who are in the same position? You imagine specifically for something, but you don't quite get it. Would you be able to say nothing and to continue to imagine for what you wanted? Often, as we're developing this imaginal muscle and developing the successes along the way to develop conviction, we're not always able to see the greater picture and to see the bridge of incidents. He did the best thing, which was to say nothing and just keep imagining that he was paying what he wanted to be paying. Neville continued to do this for three months. Neville goes on to say, I committed myself and my imagination to what I was going to pay. I went looking, and because I was going to pay more, in his eyes, he gave me all kinds of concessions he would not have done had I paid him what the former tenant did. First of all, he allowed us to pick out the wallpaper, the colors and rooms we wanted painted. He even built a bookshelf for me which covered an entire wall for all my books. He did everything I wanted. But if I had gotten in there and gotten the rent for the amount I said I would pay, he would not have built the bookcase for me, given me the wallpaper, or painted the entire apartment to my specifications. Only then was the rent reduced to the amount I had imagined it to be, and we remained there for almost 14 years. So we're gonna pay my Nenkin at the Kombini. Oh, there's a train coming down there. We're just looking. That looks good, caramel. Anything else? And I think that's what most of us are missing, that commitment. Especially when things don't seem to be going the way we want or even the opposite. But we can use this reminder now to stay committed to the things that feel divinely right in our heart and to be open to receive blessings in however form they come. Stay open. Neville concludes, I tell you, imagination will not fail you if you are faithful. What could I say when I was confronted with the negation of my assumption? Nothing. I simply would not give up. And when the time was right, my assumption became a fact. I urge you to set your goal high. Assume the feeling it has been reached and sleep in that feeling. 
persist, and I promise you that not one thing in this world can rob you of that which you have assumed. Huh? Is this a snack bar up here, this purple place? Uh. What goes on at a snack bar? Anything naughty? I don't know. No? No, just a drink. Mm. How about at a hostess club? Anything naughty happen there? Uh, some, but uh, most of them, no. Some, most of them, no. Have you had any naughty experiences? No. Would you tell me if you did? I have never been there. I thought that's where you met your first wife. Oh, no, no. Just a... Uh, uh, just uh, like American bar. Oh. Do you still go to a regular bars? Mm, a few times. No, I mean now that you're married. Mm -hmm. Do you? No, no, I have never, never, never. Can we go to a bar together? Oh, yeah, if we want to. I've never, we've never been to a Japanese bar yet? Japanese bar? It's different than an izakaya? Uh, yeah, completely different. Izakaya is a... Oh. Uh, it's a <laughs> hey, remember that? It's a hey. kind of Japanese oh. couch. What will you take into your sleep tonight? And sleep night after night? Even three months, just like Neville. For him, it was a certain amount of money he wanted to pay for rent. What is it for you? Take Neville's example and make it your own living example. That's how God has revealed through you. Now, let us go into the silence. Good. 